The president has another full morning ahead of him in the Twin Cities as day two of his visit gets underway. Yesterday, he had a couple of events, but some of his stops were unscheduled. He stopped by some iconic spots in the metro. He met with Minnesotans all along the way. He had lunch at Matt's Bar in Minneapolis with Rebecca Erler. She's the woman who wrote the president and shared the difficulties she faced as an average American. It was just so uh, dignified and thoughtful. Later, the president walked in and out of shops along Grand Avenue in St. Paul. He even stopped for a cone at Grand Old Creamery. But there's also plenty of business on his schedule. Nina Moyni is live near the Lake Harriet Banshell, where the president will be uh, talking today. What's he going to be talking about, Nina? More on the economy today, Natalie. The president, you mentioned there, has a bit of a, a free schedule. He's been making some uh, unscheduled stops. But at the end of the day, he is here, the White House says, to try and get in touch with everyday people here in the Midwest and make the case that the economy is uh, doing better. Yesterday, he was at Minnehaha Park talking about whatever the people there at that uh, town hall had on their minds. This was a hand-picked group of people during this about 90-minute long town hall. He asked the people there not to be cynical, arguing more people have jobs now than did a few years back. More people have health care. He says student loans have become more affordable. And he did also mention the Green Line being built here in Minnesota. President Obama said it wasn't too long ago, too, that he was struggling, like most of the people here in the Midwest. You guys are the, the reason I ran. Uh, you're, you're who I'm thinking about every single day. And... Just because it's not reported in the news, I don't want you to think that I'm not fighting for you. And I'm not always going to get it done as fast as I want because right now we got a Congress that's dysfunctional. Again, the, the people who were at that town hall yesterday during that 90-minute town hall were all pre-selected people. Today, though, he's giving a more uh, everyday speech in front of tons of people. You remember those tickets went out pretty fast. There were lines going on since 2 in the morning waiting for those tickets. But even if you don't have uh, tickets to the big show today, you could run into President Obama. You've already seen, as you mentioned, that he's making these unscheduled stops. And that was kind of the point of this trip is it's not as structured, uh, which we're told Secret Service isn't quite thrilled about. <laughs> I can imagine that he's not. He's on the loose, as he said. Flooding, Nina, has been a big issue for our state. Many Minnesotans want to know if the president offered any federal help for all the flooding that we are having. Sure. Well, with all the damage that we've already had, Natalie, it was pretty much something that Governor Dayton had already said would probably be a guarantee just based on the figure, the dollar amount of the damage. But yesterday, President Obama did promise that there would be some federal help coming our way here in Minnesota. It's great to hear him at least address it. Nina, thank you.